Kislev, our motherland, is dying. A dark winter devours her fairer seasons. It has been custom for our god, Ursan, the great bear, to break each winter with his roar. Yet, for seven long years, he has fallen into silence. And so the ice thickens. Our prayers go unanswered. The people suffer. The Queen has sent me to investigate, to lead an expedition in search of Orson. I am to make contact with our northernmost outpost, Dervingar. It was there, on the edge of the Chaos Wastes. Our god's voice was last heard. Let their courage be our courage. Our journey has been long and perilous. The dead outnumber the living. We are lost. We are alone. Your orders, Prince Yuri. Fuel for the fires. Extra rations for the wounded. Sir, this expedition has failed. We must turn south, head back to Kislev. But we've come so far. We push north, find Dervingard. It's madness! We cannot survive wandering the Chaos Wastes like beggars! Yuri. Brother, we must not abandon our duty. The people of Kislev depend on us. You'll have my decision by dawn. Ursan, each day I pray, but you do not answer. This is our darkest night. Can you not see Kislev suffering? Help us! Show me a sign! Answer me! And Kislev is lost. Son of Kislev. I answer in my time of need. Ursan! I wake in darkness, bound in shadow. Guide me! I can save you! I am weak, so you alone shall hear my voice. I will lead you to Derengard, your first step to finding me. Follow my voice. We move north. It reveals the secrets of the past, the present, and what may come to be. Most would think me fortunate to own such a book, but I can only use it in service to others. That is my curse. It wakes, tormenting me once more, feeding on the mysteries of this world. Unraveling them into opportunity. That opportunity for whom?
This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic turned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here? In the north. Beyond the maelstrom, in the realm of chaos, on the forge of souls. Is he alive? Wounded and dying, and risen in shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. <laughs> I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Bellacor. And yet, the power of a dying god, there is no greater prize. A mere drop of Urson's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Urson is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos, and I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the Maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal, one to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally, one who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. A nation in mourning. False news has arrived before me. They believe Urson is already dead. My proposition will require a delicate touch. I speak the truth. Your god is not dead. He lies in the realm of chaos, a captive of the Shadow Lord. It is no lie. For one drop of Urson's blood, I can help you save him. Choose your last words wisely, old man. Through your bloodline, you and the bear are one. See past your grief. Search your heart. Urson is alive. He speaks the truth. He speaks the truth. Silence! We have lost what is most precious. Many say I am at fault, that I no longer have the right to sit on this throne. So I stand. I stand with my people. 
all of you. And if it comes to it, I shall die with my people. We have been blinded by grief. Ursun lives, and while he fights to draw breath, we fight for him! For Ursun! For Kislev! For Ursun! For Kislev! Kislev marches north into hell. At the icy grave of Kislev's most glorious leader, I found the one I seek. Kostatin of Kislev, there is no price he would not pay to save Ursin. And with the death of Tsar Boris Berger, he alone has belief enough to perform this miracle. It is a mercy that you cannot witness Kislev's desolation. Your son has been taken from us. I see it in visions. He bleeds, trapped, and alone. Yet instead of worship, the Tsarina dallies with frost magic, a courtly intrigue. Forgive me, my Tsar, but your daughter fails you. Doom comes for Kislev. Ah, the shade who follows me shows himself. I know where Urson dies, and I can take you to him. Lies will not save you, disciple of the Dark Gods. Listen to me. My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way. For one drop, just one, of Urson's divine blood. Heresy, sin unbound! It will free me of a chaos sent curse. It will make me pure. And your faith, your faith will save your god. Bring your book. The motherland endures, whatever the cost. A new evil enters the world. A prince of Kislev, reborn a prince of darkness, a champion of the Chaos Gods. Kislev will fall. It will kneel before me, before Chaos. You think too small for one so powerful. Ah! Have you forgotten, Seer? I killed Ursa. Why stop at Kislev when you can give chaos the world? No more twisted words. Wait. Ursa lives. You lie. Wounded and dying by your hand, but alive. The shadow has him still. <laughs> Belakor will pay for his betrayal. <laughs> the god bears power. It is yours for the taking. So take it. The realm of chaos cannot be entered. No one can cross the maelstrom. I can. I will guide you back to the Forge of Souls. All I require is one drop of Ursan's blood. Finish the job you started, mighty God Slayer. God Slayer. World Slayer. Ursan's power is mine. Jagged rocks and rivers of fire. Here, 
I found the greatest of all bloodthirsters. Bones of all that walked or crawled littered his lair. Scarbrand, rage incarnate. I had but a moment to make my case. The time it took to sharpen his murderous blades. The demon had spent millennia harvesting skulls to earn the forgiveness of his master, the Chaos God, Khorn. The skull of Urson would gain his favor. What do you know of Khorn's favor? Nothing, mighty Scarbrand. I am but a servant, ready to aid your slaughter. I can smell the magic on you, seer. I'll take your skull. Why take mine, when you can have the skull of a god? Let me guide you through the maelstrom, to where Belagor imprisons the bear. Take his skull. All I want is a drop of Urson's blood. Keep your skull. Give me the bear. One skull for the throne. The rest are mine to collect. The Gallows Tree. Dwelling of Kugath, father of plague. There is no greater brewmaster of phage and pox than he. To describe the squalor of the fetid sewer is impossible. I risked my very flesh to tread it. Kogarth thought me but another specimen for his grotesque experiments. Before the rot consumed me, I offered something finer. Elagor has imprisoned the god bear of Kislev. Oh, how delightful. If Belagor has struck, there'll be plenty of carrion for me. Urson himself lies dying, fatally wounded in the Forge of Souls. A dying god. The finest corpse from which to brew a plague. A god pox, mighty Kuga. A god pox. The maelstrom prevents us. I can reach it and guide you to the dying bear. And why would you do this, little healthy mortal? For a single drop of Urson's blood. That is my fate. <laughs> Die. Blood for you, the body for me. <laughs> It was in the Palace of Ruin I found Nakari, the Keeper of Secrets. His den of excess was no place for mortals. With every step it whispered promises of all I desire. Like others before me, my soul yearned to be ensnared. But I knew if I succumbed here, he would own me for eternity. I made my revelations quickly, before my senses gave way. Yet Nakari found the tale of Belakor and Urson tiresome. It was a secret he kept already. As my mind clouded, I made a final gambit. I would guide him through the maelstrom to the bear's deathbed. The bear is tempting. The sorrow of a dying god. Yours to treasure. A treasure to cherish. I want it. You will give it to me. One drop of Urson's blood. That is my fee. Advise me well. And you 
who will have your desire. Fail me, and I will have your soul. The Silvered Tower. Refuge of Kairos Fateweaver, the most powerful of all demon sorcerers. I found the Great Conjurer searching for a spell to pass through the Maelstrom, but his scribe scoured every book in vain. I told him of Urson, held captive in the Forge of Souls, but he dismissed my wisdom. We already know of Banakor's plot, for I see the past, and I see the future. But you are blind to the present. You did not see the Maelstrom, nor can you decipher a path through it. The Tome of Fate holds the answer, the spell we search for. Kill him, brother. Take it. Only I can use it. The tome is bound to my soul. We can unpick it. No, let him serve us. For one drop of good blood, I have foreseen it. Peck out the eyes of Ursa. Use their power to view the present. The sight of a god. The past, present, and future. All will be ours to see. Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon, older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony. But the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shenzu, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan mountains, but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails. And our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursa, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursa lead you to him before it's too late for one drop of his blood your destiny is to guide us the armies of Cathay must breach the maelstrom and march into chaos balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. The ogres feast to honor Grisus the Overtyrant. Their appetites are ferocious. I must be weary. Time's up, wizard. No. Put him in the street. Wait, wait! Untold power can be harnessed from a dying god. Power? Ogres take what they want. What more power do we need? Boil the pot! Fresh meat! <laughs> Please wait! The god is a bear! You can't devour it! Quiet! 
A bear, you say? Sounds tightly. Shut up! <sighs> and you meet god flesh. Enough for you, your warriors, and your god, the great maw. <sighs> I can smell it now. Roast god ribs. A feast like no other. You're no meat eater. What's in it for you? My book reveals a path to his deathbed. I will show you the way for one drop of Urson's divine blood. One drop? The ogres get the rest. That is the deal. 